We've got a very green dish this morning. World-renowned chef Darina Allen is here to help us celebrate St. Patrick's Day. She's been called the Julia Child of Ireland. And she has cooked for former President Clinton, won several awards, hosted TV shows, founded Ireland's top cooking school. <laughs> and this morning, she brought her ultimate dish, Ballymaloo Irish Stew. Did I say that right? <laughs> Absolutely or, okay. right, yes. Why is it called that? Well, because this is our, there are Irish stew is the sort of thing that uh, many people make in a different way, but this is our Ballymaloo version of it. And uh, it's sort of famous in Ireland. Ballymaloo means the town's land of sweet honey. Uh, mm. it, it's a country house hotel down in east of Cork in Ireland. I love yes. it. Now, don't mind us if we eat, we're starving. <laughs> so, <what's, laughs> this looks so tell good. us about it. What's well, in this? <laughs> pardon me? What's in it? Well, yeah, my mouth uh, was full when I asked, so clearly. Oh, I see, good. <laughs> well, it's sort of lamb and uh, potatoes of course mm. and onions and carrots and it's really wonderful made with sweet Irish lamb and uh, young carrots and uh, a thing and it's a great a wonderful thing about this uh, Irish stew is that it's a whole meal in one dish mm -hmm. so you can make the whole thing it's comfort food pop it in the middle of the table and tuck in with your family and your friends it's it, delish and when you say a stew you normally think of something in a bowl like that is well this the actually normal normally that this is it this is I mean uh, we've uh, the, the lady who uh, you know was still <laughs> presenting it did a really wonderful job but normally we would have it in a deeper bowl. It's hard to see the, on television. With, with even more, exactly, you can't <laughs> see into it so easily. But even more uh, of the juices and all of that as well, the meat juices. You also brought a dessert along with you. Yes. This one is, uh, a Ross, this is from the Irish uh, traditional cooking book. And it's a cold, um, uh, it's called Ross Common Rhubarb Tart. Rhubarb is mm. just in season now. We cook, uh, you know, uh, because we're in the middle, the cooking school is in the middle of an organic farm. Mm. We cook, uh, you know, we'd literally go out and pick the rhubarb. It's just in season. And so this would have been made uh, years ago. It would have been made in a deep skillet pot. The rhubarb is scattered over the bottom and a little sugar, and then a sort of scone dough on top. Then the lid and herb, uh, embers would have been taken from the turf fire, and it would have been cooked in a pot oven over the open fire. And then when it was cooked, so uh, you would take it and turn it upside down. You see, this one has been mm. turned up, so the rhubarb and all the juices go down into the thing, and it's so delicious. It's like your version of pineapple upside down. Cake. Exactly. It's like a rhubarb tart turned up, but this is really, really old recipe, which was given to me by Luke Dodd uh, from Stokestown in County Roscommon and his grandmother, uh, he remembered his grandmother making this in a pot oven over the open fire. So how did you get into this line of work? I know you have an interesting backstory. <laughs> well, basically, we live uh, in the middle of an organic farm, a 100-acre organic farm, close to uh, Ballycotton on, down on the east coast of Ireland, down in the uh, east of Cork City uh, in Ireland. And uh, so we have wonderful projects. We started a cooking school there in 1980. Uh, and of course, it's uh, we have hens and pigs and chickens and uh, and extensive gardens and greenhouses. So we have absolutely wonderful produce. So my whole thing really is teaching people how to cook. And uh, we also have a country you call it an inn, a country house hotel mm. and restaurant that people come and stay in. And it's famous for its food, simple, delicious food because we cook with the seasons and the menu changes every day depending on what's in the garden and what fish comes in from the boats. We have cotton. to ask you, we ask every guest this, if you had one item, one item that you had to keep in your refrigerator in your home, what would it be? Well, I think it would have to be Irish butter, wouldn't it? <laughs> and now you Which can you get brought. it over here. It's delicious. Actually, That's what's here. yes, it carry gold is available widely in, in America now, so you can get the real taste of Ireland, uh, and you also uh, and you slather it onto the soda bread. I made this soda bread this morning just to, uh, before we came in. I just made it, and uh, you don't get the real taste of Irish soda bread unless you slather it with Irish butter. So there we, we are. <laughs> we mentioned that you've already cooked for President Clinton. So besides <laughs> yes. presidents, if you could have a meal with any. One, who would it be? Well, you know, I think it would have to be Michelle Obama because really? I'm really, really admire her for putting a reminding us how important food is in our lives and how important that our food in a way should be our medicine. So she planted that wonderful vegetable garden on the lawn of the White House, didn't she? And that's a strong message to all of us to, about how important that is. If you wouldn't mind, sign our dish. And as you're doing that, I just <laughs> want to let everyone know that for more on Darina Allen and the dish, head to our website, cbsnews.com slash this morning and search Darina's Irish dish. And I haven't even had a sip of this mm. and I'm already slurring <laughs> my words. Thank you. Happy St. Patty's Cheers. Day. We'll be right back. Cheers. 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 Nice work. I love it.